Hello, Akako. It's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Wednesday, October 26th, 2022, coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. We uh, had 1 Peter 4 to the end of the uh, chapter where it says, Let those suffering in accordance with God's will entrust themselves to a faithful creator while continuing to do good. St. Peter picks up in verse 5. Now, as an elder myself, and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those in your charge but be examples to the flock. When the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith. For you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of sufferings. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. To leaders, to kupuna, to elders, yeah? Be faithful. Use your wisdom, the wisdom gained in life, your practical judgment, your moral wisdom, what Aristotle called phronesis, yeah? Use your poised resourcefulness to serve the flock, to serve those younger than us, spiritually, chronologically. Mm. And then... That verse 6, it didn't hit me, but we've been singing the song, Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. He will lift you up, right? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Yes, the paradox is, as we humble ourselves, as we forget about glory, put it aside, he will raise us up. God will exalt us in due time. Epule Kako. Almighty God, grant to your church your Holy Spirit and the wisdom which comes down from heaven that your word may not be bound but have free course and be preached to the joy and edifying of Christ's holy people that in steadfast faith we may serve you and in the confession of your name abide to the end. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace, now and throughout your day. Amen.